Twitter is dumbfounded as she shows lack of remorse for Nancy Kerrigan attack. Tanya Harding showed a shocking lack of remorse for the infamous attack on her skating rival Nancy Kerrigan in Big ABC interview. Now fans are coming hard for her. This was a big chance for disgraced figure skater Tanya Harding to turn the public back on her side in Truth and Lies, the Tony Harding story, airing January 11 on ABC. The two-hour special focused on Tanya's side of the infamous 1994 attack on her ice skating rival, Nancy Kerrigan, 48. With a whole new generation of eyes focusing on the scandal, thanks to the dark comedy I, Tanya. She was pretty unrepentant that she had done nothing wrong and seemed to play the victim during many answers. She even claimed she was done apologizing to Nancy, even though the Olympic silver medalist says that her rival has never told her she was sorry for her role in the rinkside assault. Tanya has claimed multiple times over the years that she apologized to Nancy, according to the Daily Mail. Yet, Nancy, when speaking with Nightline in April 2017, said she never got a direct apology from her rival. We talked. We were at an event four years after I was attacked. But we didn't really speak to each other. So it was very awkward and strange, said Nancy. As for an apology? Does it matter at this point? In Tanya's ABC interview she simply said of Nancy, she's got her life. I've got my life. We both have wonderful lives and that should be all that matters. Yep. No apology and she showed a shocking lack of remorse about the incident. Tanya, 47, went as far to say I wouldn't change a thing about her past before ABC's Amy Robach asked if she was really sure about that answer. Tanya then in a snide remark said well, one thing. Um, that was a pretty big one thing. To recap. Two nights before the conclusion of the 1994 United States Figure Skating Championships, a man named Sean Excurt clubbed Nancy on the knee with a collapsible butt on. A FBI investigation into the attack discovered that Sean was a friend of Jeff Gillooly, Tanya's ex-husband, according to the New York Times. Ultimately, Tanya pleaded guilty to hindering a prosecution, which meant she knew who did the attack, but didn't report it immediately. She was sentenced to three years of supervised probation, 500 hours of community service, a $100,000 state fine and was instructed to set up a $50,000 fund to benefit the Special Olympics. She was also ordered to surrender her membership to the United States Figure Skating Association, who would end up barring her for life. Before that happened, both she and Nancy, who was had recovered from the attack, both competed in the 1994 Winter Olympics in Lillehammer, Norway. Tanya finished eighth, while Nancy took the silver medal. Folks in the Twitter sphere were not down with Tanya still playing a victim all these years after Nancy's attack and still refusing to own up to her role in it. Tanya, I believe you 100%. Also, Tom Brady will be leaving the Patriots practice facility at 4.37 p.m. tomorrow if you're not doing anything. Hash Tanya Harding, Will Presti, at Will Presti, January 12, 2018 Hash Tanya Harding is full of shit and so are the people who believe she and number 39 semicolon s a victim. Red, at Hysterical Vixen, January 12, 2018 Tanya, she needed to stop whining also Tanya colon hash Tanya Harding pick dot twitter dot com slash db fuk 6n, Courtney, at Coco Gra underscore. January 12, 2018 Whether she was deeply involved or not, the lack of remorse is astounding, and a problem of its own. Hash Tanya Harding, Jenny Heimowich, at Jenna, January 12, 2018 Watching Hash Tanya Harding criticize Nancy Kerrigan for being rude is the most incredible thing I've seen all week, Sam Roberts, at Notsum, January 12, 2018 The victim is Nancy Kerrigan. Not hash Tanya Harding, MN Patriot Girl, at Eisnorian 71, January 12, 2018 No one is actually buying this whole hash Tanya Harding as a victim thing right? Morgan Schmidt, at M the Schmidt 20, January 12, 2018 What do you think about Tanya's interview, Hollywood Lifers?